Good morning, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Week two of May for Virgo. All right. I'm going to pull you a lesson card. You're either on top of it or you're not. It's either you or someone else. My little Virgos. My little Virgos. Week two for Virgo. Week two for Virgo, please. I hope everybody had a nice weekend. Virgo. Freedom. Okay. I propose the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So right now, you're in this situation where you either feel stuck or you feel free and liberated and ready to go. Okay, it's one or the other. So let's hope you feel free, liberated, and ready to go. Well, let's do that. Okay. All right, my little Virgos. Sipping on Merlot. Virgos. Current energy for Virgo. Week two, please. We got a plane flying real low. I never hear the plane around here. Oh, it's a helicopter. I almost questioned that, too. All right. You deserve love. You are lovable. So I don't... And this has Cupid's arrow, right? So it's almost like, I don't know if you're about to get struck or, you know, this is what you want, you deserve. It's, I feel like it's like a crave, what he or she is feeling. What he or she is feeling. What you don't see coming. Attraction and chemistry. Possible outcome. Possible outcome. Virgo. Virgo. Engagement and past, current past. This could be two minutes ago, two weeks ago, two years ago, 22 months ago. Okay. Current past with Virgo. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have past life relationship. So you definitely know somebody. All right, here's the thing what I'm picking up right off the rip, okay? If you guys are new, welcome. I just want to say welcome, welcome. I do read these cards differently, okay? So don't get your panties in a bunch. When you're like, that's not what that card means, because I've been saying forever, Dorian Virtue is going to reach out one day and be like, why are you reading my cards that way? Because I'm a reader and that's what I do, all right? So there's that. I will tell you right now, you're feeling stuck, all right? You deserve love. There's a situation where... Currently in the past, you try to get to know somebody. I don't know if they were married. They have children. There's a situation going on. It's like, mm. um, to me, there was probably already separation. There had to have been something because there is something here where you want someone or they want you. They want to take it up a notch because this isn't like, let me put a ring on a finger. Well, maybe some people are thinking that, right? Or you're dealing with a life partner that's currently still in the midst of a marriage or something well this is you I wanted to get married I wanted more of a commitment and it's not happening but what you don't see coming okay is is chemistry and attraction like that's that's a whole lot okay there's definitely a magnetic connection here but you don't feel free from this situation someone still relies on you possibly someone you have children with and this is telling me it's a one-sided love only one carries that love okay so make sure you're holding yourself at high standards because it's you're fully aware that you deserve love okay so again right now this is my Virgo but the read can always switch up and you can be totally somewhere else, okay? You could be dealing with a Virgo and this is you. Who knows? So tell me you deserve love. 
I just saw the five of cups and the seven of cups. So I don't I don't know if you're holding on to the past. Somebody's holding on to you. Five of swords, damn. See, you you're definitely there. There we go. Feeling stuck. All right, someone feels stuck, but they're also learning. Like, hey, I deserve more. All right, so looks like you're mentally battling yourself right now. Emotionally, physically, mentally battling yourself, okay? So be careful. Tell me about codependency. Now, this is he or she, right? How they're feeling about you. Well, that's definitely a past life situation going on here. This is somebody who's still stuck in a situation with the Empress. Yeah. Okay, so, but they're looking at you as, as younger. I, I don't know if you guys are younger, okay? Or you're, you're so stuck in like, this is what it used to be. But this is having to make a decision. Um, tell me about children. So it looks like you have children. They have children with somebody. Um, and it's like they need to make a decision. Yeah, see, two of cups, queen of cups, queen of swords, queen of wands. Holy shit. They could have children with multiple women. But um, this there's obviously with the lovers here and knowing you deserve love, you met somebody in between. And there's a marriage that's not finalized. Tell me about this two of cups. I do read reversals, guys. I did put these all upright. If it comes out reversed, so be it. It's the way they wanted me to do it. And I didn't do it that way with Taurus. And I don't know why. You know, yeah. See, this is somebody who wants a more carefree freedom. You know, wants to follow their, their path, their destiny. So this is gaining self-worth. So tell me about getting to know each other. Trust me, when they're upright, I can still read negative situations. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna leave them this way with um the next ones. I, I don't I don't know why I was called to do that. Um getting to know each other. So this is somebody who in the current past it's a younger energy, right? But wanting to get to know you, wanting to talk to you, wanting to take an adventure, wanting to do all this, right? I think still, you know, wanting to, um, yeah, see, now we have the emperor. So there was an energy holding back because there was still something legal. Tell me about wedding. Now, I feel like in the past, we're going, like, way back. I don't know why. I don't know what this way back is. All right, this is the wheel. Yeah, somebody came in. It's, it's almost like spiritual bait. Somebody came in extremely confident, um, stands in their morals, independent, striking. Could be in the public eye. Or you could just be happy being single. But no, there's a lot of attraction here with chemistry. Yeah. Somebody came in to the picture. Yeah. This is the Empress and the King of Pence. Um, they, this, this like got in between. It, it's sticky. This is still somebody very codependent on somebody, and it could be because of finances, because of reliability. All right, but they have something with you. Tell me about this attraction. And I, I will tell you, too, yeah, they were probably giving it to too many people. Something could have happened way back in the day with the Empress, acting single. <laughs> Thank you thinking they were going to win. So, yeah, she definitely came in. So, you were definitely dating, hanging out, getting to know somebody. Um, clear as day. 
this is somebody who's going to want someone that's now looking at you like, um, oh, I almost said like a yummy treat. I don't like saying it like that. It's such a weird thing to say too, right? A yummy treat. It's like a dog, but not a dog. Like you're a treat. They want to take you out. They find you extremely attractive. Or you're about to be attracted to somebody and you're about to start dating. Your ships are here. They're right around the corner. I don't know if you manifested new love. Tell me about engagement. Whoever you meet. Um... Yeah, somebody really, really misses you right now. Um, someone feels left out in the cold. Stressed out. Wanting to speak to you. Wanting to work together. Death card at the bottom of the deck again. I don't know. This is somebody who's kind of like walking away from a toxic situation. But not really. It's like they keep walking into it. It could be fear, but this is like they keep repeating patterns um so right now it looks like you're holding yourself at high standards you know what you deserve you got caught up in something it looks like you're gonna start dating feeling different type of energy going out to dinner hanging out with your friends more there's something right around the corner Whomever you were seeing that was probably in a situation ship is definitely missing you, stressing out, trying to figure out how to talk to you. They're not really getting too far. This is also telling me, okay, it's depending on where you're at. Like, you know what you deserve. You know, you, you messed up. Or they messed up. It's like wanting to really get to know each other, but how could you if there was somebody else, you know? <sighs> Tell me about chemistry. So it looks like you're going to start dating, going out, taking care of yourself, being more, um, I must say independent, which is strange, because I think you're actually already independent. Butterfly relationship evolving, going to the next phase. That's what we have here. So some of you will reconnect with somebody or some of you know this situation and it's, it's codependent, it's sticky and you're waiting for somebody to just wrap it up because you have death at the bottom of the card and you have freedom. So this person really isn't trapped. This is someone thinking they're trapped, someone thinking they're stuck, thinking yada yada. This is somebody who wants to go in a new direction. Yeah, codependency, transitioning, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for a union. So something, you're going to come together with somebody here. Somebody just has to tie up some loose ends. But here's the thing, too. I don't, like, I still feel like this energy is stuck. It's stagnant. So don't be waiting around. Make sure you're doing your thing, going out, hanging with friends, like just, you know, feeling yourself. Because you don't want to stay stuck in this. And this person doesn't either, but this person's just like, oh, this is like victim, you know, like victim mentality. It's, 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 it's not good. It's uh, blah, 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 you know. Yeah, see, addiction, codependent, obsession, being held back, resistant, you know, resisting change. So, again, if this is you, you clearly already know that you deserve more. So it's up to you to make the moves. I'm feeling more like this is you, but you can be anyone here, okay? Someone has children with somebody, clearly wants to... There, see what I'm saying? Like the Two of Cups and the Fool, this is somebody who kind of wants to go in a spiritual direction. They know they have a past life with somebody. Like they want to be in that. But right now, like they're just stressed out trying to figure out how. Well, you want to know how? You leave this situation, you know? It's holding you back. 
You know, this is somebody, and then you have the Empress here that just wanted to win. I don't know if they're flirting, what's going on here, but wanting to win. Loves being single, but still wants to be and tell you how things are going to go or something. And, and you, looks like you wanted to get to know somebody, go in a new direction. And it's like, whoop, hold on, hold up. All right. But, you know, again, freedom. And, and I knew that right off the rip. You can stay stuck. Or you can choose to free yourself. So I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who's just like using the children against you. Yeah, see, date, meeting somebody new, getting back out there. So some of you are going to wrap all this up, wrap it up and just be like, oh, I'm going in a new direction. Like, I've had enough. Or this is somebody where someone's going to start dating somebody, which could be you evolving, going to the next phase. I don't know what it was, if it was a one-night stand, friends with benefits, I'm not really sure. But it looks like you're going to end up with somebody's soon-to-be ex-husband or ex-wife, and they are not happy about the situation at all. Girl talk, hanging out with friends, moving on, happily single living in the moment, having fun. So you got one energy that's like good to go and the other one's like missing you. Being lighthearted, finding out the truth, change, heal, okay? So let me just get one more over here. So clearly somebody came. Yeah, the Grim Reaper, this relationship is over, no second chances, grow, transform your life. Bottom of the deck, I like you. So it's, it's shitty because something is clearly over and you still have somebody. Well, to me, I want to say you're holding yourself back. Okay. And that's the truth. Go watch my warning for YouTubers that watch tarot. Because this is one of these situations where you have to hold yourself at high standards and, and not, and not, wait around for something like this because it's it's coming around you know this is somebody who wants to be with you but they need to wrap things up and i wouldn't i wouldn't hold your freaking breath here yeah i buried myself in my work to forget about you sometimes i stay awake thinking about you you know um and i love you unconditionally and you do have that. You have the two of cups and the lovers, okay? It really is truly a past life situation. Um, but somebody needs to pull their stuff together to have that type of relationship. And those type of relationships, you know, uh, take time. But they're, they're worth putting the effort into, okay? So somebody's like, heck, yeah. I want to give this a chance. I got feelings, soulmate. <clears throat> but they're still in a situation that's unrequited. Release your ex. <laughs> you know, um, I don't I don't mean to giggle. I know it, it sounds harsh, especially if you're the karmic. But you know what? Honestly, you're going to be so much happier. You made the chances. You made the moves you did. Because there's somebody else out there waiting for you to, you know? Stop holding up other people and, and stop holding up your own your own life, your own desires, your own passion, you know, um, and, and, and drop this codependency. It is, it's like, man, you got somebody who really loves you or vice versa. And it, it's like, it's almost like they don't want to hurt this other energy, you know, but it's probably karma on their end to figure that part out. All right, y'all, I will see you on the other side. Um, for those who are new, you can, get all of my videos, all 13, and then when I do an, an extra here and there, um, on Patreon for $2 a week, all right, um, so I, I will see you there, but it, it, it does look good, I mean, either way, even if you're the karmic, you, you're still going towards something new, like, it might even be a past life situation, you're gonna start dating, you know, you're gonna let something go, others of you, this is somebody who's leaving this situation, you must have already left the situation because if you are anything like me, you would have already been aware that this is going down. And you'd be like, yep, I'm straight. You know, clean up your own shit. But if this is you holding on to a situation that's icky, you know, please pick yourself up. Please, it's, it's over. 
It's like the universe is not even going to give you a second chance there. Okay? Your person's out there. I love you guys. Have a great week.